Hey everyone, meteorologist Brittany Bowman here. I wanted to share some ideas with the parents and kids at home to help keep science alive. I wanted to share some at-home science experiments you can do with just using some everyday items around the house. I can also share some ideas with you on Facebook as well as doing Facebook Lives to answer your questions. Anything about weather, science in general, and even math I can help out with if you're stuck doing that homework at home as well. So to start off for today, let's start with a bang and start that at-home science experiment. You only need two items to make a cloud right in your home. You'll need a water bottle and isopropyl alcohol. And of course, some adult supervision. Louie will be my supervisor today. So simply all we're gonna do is put the alcohol into the water bottle. Now you need just enough to be able to swish it around the edges so you don't need too much in there, about that much. Put that cap on nice and tight. And first off, you wanna swish it around the edges. Just get all the edges coated. Now I recommend using a water bottle because we will begin to twist this. So you'll need something that's easily twistable. At first, it's not very easy to twist. You just wanna keep the consistent twisting in the same direction. And it may take a few tries. What I'm doing is increasing the pressure inside of this water bottle. Now take note of the kind of weather you are seeing going on in this water bottle right now. I'm increasing the pressure. Now what happens if I decrease the pressure and I release all that pressure I'm holding in? You get a cloud. So how did we do this? Let's break down the science. By squeezing the bottle, I'm increasing the pressure and by the ideal gas law, I'm also increasing the temperature. This represents a high pressure where we have clear skies. The ingredients that you need for a cloud to form include moisture, which is all around us, whether it's in the gas, solid, or liquid state. You need particles in the atmosphere for the water vapor to condense onto, which is represented by the alcohol in our bottle. And you also need the cooling air. We cool the air by decreasing the pressure. As we release the bottle, the pressure decreases, therefore we decrease the temperature as well. This allows for condensation to occur, and that's why we see that cloud appear in the bottle. This represents a low pressure, and this is where we typically see clouds form and even rain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I've brought some fun and some education into your homes. I will be posting this on my Facebook page, Twitter, even Instagram. So be sure to follow me and I'd love to see you trying these at-home experiments or anything science you're doing at home. Share those pictures and videos with me and I'll be sure to post this to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Thanks again for watching.